We are presenting the thesis plan of our investigation project called XR as a forward-looking tool for mathematics learning of secondary school students with dyslexia and ADHD. The video structure will be divided into four parts. First, context, motivation and progress statement. Second, literature review plan. Third, research objectives and expected results. And finally, conclusions. We are first seeing few one of the published paper in which we oversee the different entities and fields of knowledge intervening into the presentation. The initial approach is contextualized into a university school collaboration framework aiming to be an investigation or direct application on field. As it's well known, these students usually find troubles on learning mathematics, and that fact will lead them to think they will never cope with the STEM-related subjects. The first idea of our investigation will be to face the exposed scenario with XR technologies. Finally, looking again at figure 1, we may see three institutions related to the thesis. UPC as the university holding the doctoral program, TIMNE as our research organization, which is also working on a bigger project about XR, gamification and education, and Jesuitas de la Cia as the secondary school in which we will test our results. Now, let us state some of the key concepts of the investigation context. On the one hand, dyslexia is a subtype of a specific learning disorder that impedes a person's ability to learn and use a specific academic skills. And ADHD is a persistent pattern of inattention and or hyperactivity impulsivity that interferes the functioning of development. On the other hand, we will talk about extended reality, referring to the set of immersive technologies comprehending augmented reality, virtual reality and mixed reality. And by educational games, we will understand those games, design it following game characteristics with instructional elements. So far, so good. Look at the following slide. The motivation of our PhD thesis is ripened by the following hypothesis. XR and educational games match with dyslexia and ADHD main issues. As it has been plotted on the slide, one may see that issues on the left combined with features on the center takes us to believe that the formulated hypothesis might be in good track. And that's because we might be able to offer to students easier to understand learning resources. In addition, these resources will also be more visual and manipulative and will give frequent feedback to students. So, we define our problem as proposing the introduction of XR environments in the didactics of mathematics as a tool for students with learning difficulties, facing their weaknesses on comprehension abstract visualization and concentration, as well as bringing them an attractive way of achieving it. Having set the context, the motivation and the problem statement, the next stage to discuss is the state of the art research. Previous to that thesis plan, we have analyzed some of the last read thesis in Spanish universities matching our keywords. After that, we have defined a more specific literature review focused in two phases. First, a state of the art review tracing the historical development and describing the state of the art about the didactic of mathematics as a scientific discipline, and second, a systematic review following these three main objectives. First, synthesize the best evidence on the fields of mathematics didactics, dyslexia, ADHD and XR and gamification strategies. Second, establish guidelines and frameworks for successful design, our further intervention over students, and finally, determine connections and gaps of knowledge between the mentioned fields. Each of the investigated fields of knowledge will have its own assignment objectives. Now, we are seeing a slide containing all of them. Our expected results is hence the development of XR tools and strategies for better learning mathematics. The following plan scheme will guide the investigation. After defining goals and research lines, a systematic literature review plan will be conducted. Then, we will decide which contents, activities and competencies are more suitable for our type of intervention and define a proposal that will later be discussed, developed and tested in an iterative process. We will close the project with a final prototype. Last but not least, we close this presentation asking for guidance to Team 2022 Scientific Committee and attendees on the following questions. Feedback on the presented literature review plan. Quality known publications actual projects or investigation tracks known by the committee or exposed on the conference, the strengths, opportunities, weaknesses and difficulties the committee may oversee in our thesis presentation and future research direction. Hoping on established and supportive community of scholars and fund the basis for collaborative research, we thank you for watching our video.